In, a, in this Office 365 uh, little tips and tricks, I'm going to show you how to use drop caps in Word. Yep, you must probably don't know what it is. Uh, well, I didn't, so don't feel bad. Uh, this is not just going to be a post about uh, Microsoft and uh, being more productive, but I'm definitely going to add some life lessons in here. So you'll notice that I'm wearing a Superman onesie. And, uh, and it's very cold today in South Africa. We're very spoiled with warm weather. Um, so it's, uh, it's about nine at the moment or 10, which is uh, like amazingly cold for me. And, uh, and this brings me to someone called Daryl, by the way, believe it or not. And uh, quite a couple of months ago, I never made videos. And uh, even the beginning of my videos were still videos because I didn't like to hear my voice because I'm sure none of us do. And then eventually, um, Daryl kept on speaking to me and saying, Trace, you need to do this. Um, you'll get better at it. And, and there's Daryl, by the way. So I go follow him on Twitter. He's such a cool oak. And he really inspired me to do more videos. But um, it also inspired me, like I said, I started adding voice to my videos. And then I started adding my face to it. I just stopped caring. But it reminded me that, uh, that life's too short to not be yourself. I mean, just don't do this. I mean, there's, what's the point of faking things? And putting up a smiley face and whatever. So here we are today in my Superman onesie. I'm going to show you something cool to do in office. And uh, hopefully this will inspire you as well to, uh, to get out of your comfort zone and to do more cool things. So uh, let's get to, uh, to Word. Now drop cap in Word, if I hover over it, it's under the insert tab. If I hover over it, you'll see that it uh, tells you, so create a large capital letter at the beginning of a paragraph. Now you'd kind of think like, what is the point of that? Okay, you can do it yourself by um, going and highlighting it and setting the font on it. But uh, let me show you some examples of what they mean by that. It always uh, makes me think of, uh, of old books and writing, so very romantic and pretty. Definitely not um, something you'd use every day and in all your things that you write, but uh, for the right thing, it would serve its purpose. I also, you'll notice um, I've got some lorem ipsum in here that's different, so I want to show you that as well. I'm obviously famous for calling people Cupcake and them calling me Cupcake. So there's a little site called Cupcake Ipsum if you want to just generate some text that you want to use for demos or for websites. So, uh, so keep in mind to um, have a look out for that as well. Now, if I'm in, the, in Word and I select a paragraph and I then go to drop cap, I can choose whether it must be dropped or um, in the margin on the left hand side. So I'm going to choose dropped and then I've had some fun downloading some cool fonts because <laughs> of course... I love the creative side of it. So if I go to drop cap options, I can actually set um, how many lines it must um, appear in. So how big the, the letter is. And I can set the font as well. So um, the first one that you should all have on your PCs is uh, I think Algerian, um, which, uh, which looks a little bit different. I'm gonna just make this bigger and say five. So there you can say that's quite a cool font um, to use. Let's try another one. I'm going to select this again. Drop cap options. I just want to see because I, I downloaded, as mentioned, a couple of cool fonts um, this morning. So let me go and look for something. Um, just select that again. Drop cap options. And um, that's the one I want to use. I'll just remember because I haven't. To... Oh, there we go. So, um, of course, you can make that font for that specific one a bit bigger as well. But remember, you'll have to change um, the options then with how high or how many rows um, this can actually take up. So if I had to change that to six, you'll see that it starts bringing in the whole letter. So a uh, pretty cool little idea. And I hope that you have fun with it. 